Hello friends, welcome to my new UI Bootstrap tutorial series video. Friends, in this tutorial we will discuss about alerts and we will see how we can create alerts using AngularJS and Bootstrap. That is through UI Bootstrap directives. So let's go to our sublime text editor and see how we can create alert using UI Bootstrap directives. Friends, here you can see that we have already configured the environment for UI Bootstrap. So friends, in our head section, we included the JavaScript files for Angular, Angular Animate, UI Bootstrap and our own script.js file. We also included the CSS for Bootstrap. So this is how we configured the environment in our first tutorial. So in our script.js, we just created a module by name UI.bootstrap.tutorials. So in this tutorial series, I will be using this module only. And to this module, we provided the dependencies for ng, animate and UI Bootstrap. So I will just copy this module name and into my index.html. So into my HTML element, I will provide ng app and to that I will provide the name of that ui.bootstrap.tutorials. So friends, first in our script.js, we'll create one controller. So through app controller. Here I will give a name to it as alerts controller so here I will remove this part because I will only use this alerts controller and here I will provide a scope to it so friend this will be our controller so I will copy this controller text and here into my body I will use ng controller and put alert controller there so friend, now we can use this alert controller into our body section. So let's move ahead and see how we can create alert. So friends, first I will create a BR and then I will create a div and to this div I will provide a class of container and inside this container I will be creating the alerts. So friends, UI bootstrap provides a directive by UIB dash alert to create an alert. So we'll see how we can create a color through that. So I will create UI b dash alert so to this uib alert directive i will provide a message as this is is a warning alert and if i save it and open it in browser so friends here on the browser you can see that a warning alert is created and as bootstrap provides the support for contextual classes such as warning info success and danger so here you see that a warning alert is created so the by default type is warning so we will see how we can create other types of alerts so let's move over to our editor so just below my uib alert i will again create a uib alert so friends in order to provide a different type of contextual class we have to provide it an attribute say type and to that we have to provide a string as success warning info or danger so let's say i provide a string as success and i type it as this is a success alert so if i save it and go to the browser so you can see a success alert has been created so friend we can also provide links to this alert so what i can do is to this success I have to just give an anchor tag dash I have to copy this success inside the A element I save it and I go to the browser so you can see a link is also created inside an alert we can also create this dynamic alert so like this text we can provide dynamically through our controllers and the type we can provide dynamically through our controllers so let's see how we can do that so I will just copy this paste it below so I will remove this complete message and here I will give an expression so that we can pass it through our controller so let's say we give it as alert dot message and also let's say I want to pass this type also from the controller so I will give it as alert dot type 
so into my script.js through scope I will first create an alert object and then I will just copy this and I will provide a say type to it as danger and let's say I provide a message to it as this is a danger alert so if I save it and if I go to browser so you can see that say we can say an error alert is created with the danger class so here we pass the values from the controller so this is a dynamic alert so here friends you can see that these alerts are not closable so we can also create a closable alert so I will go to my editor and let's say I copy this so here I will just paste it <coughs> let's say I give it a heading at this is a info and info alert and to this I provide a type as info so that I can even demonstrate info contextual class now in order to make this a say a closable alert we have to provide it as attribute as close and this close will take in callback function so whenever this alert will be closed this method will be called so I will say give it a method name is close me and let's say we give it a ng if and to that we give a expression as let's say show and into our script.js here we create we, we provide a definition for this close me method here say we have provided ngf and value of it as show so let's say we give something as dollar scope dot show show equals false so, so whenever this close me button will be called the show value will be false and we have provided ngf here so the alert will get disappear so first i will so here the initial value i have to provide it as so I just copy this and I paste it so initially I want to show this alert so I will give it a value of true so if I save it and go to the browser so you can see that info alert is created and to its right there is a cross symbol which shows that it's a closable alert so as soon as I will click this so it will get disappear so here we saw that using this close attribute we can even create a closable alert and friends we can also say provide a timeout to this alert so that as soon as they appear so suppose after 5 seconds or 10 seconds they should disappear so so that user should not lose this again and again so what we can do is we can also provide a timeout feature to it so I will just copy this part and here I will paste it and say I give it text as with timeout and in order to provide a timeout say in milliseconds we have to provide it an attribute as dismiss on timeout and to this we have to provide a value in milliseconds so suppose if I want to make this alert stay for 5 seconds I will give a value as 500 so this is uh, 5000 milliseconds which means 5 seconds so what it does is after say a time of 5 seconds it will automatically call the method present in this close attribute so in order to make this timeout work we have to provide a close attribute and let's say I give a I change a method here say I close me by timeout so here let's say I provide a value it as say ng for alert because I have to give a different name because I have to give a different name or else both alert will be disappeared so I give a say show alert and I give a method as close me by timeout so into my script.js I will just copy this 
lines and I will paste it here so here I will give a text as close me by timeout and here I give a value as alert I will just copy this and I will put it here so if I save it so when I run it on browser first initially the alert will be visible and after 5 seconds this alert will be say disappeared and this because this close me by timeout function will be called automatically so if I save it and go to the browser so if you see here after 5 seconds it automatically got disappeared so friends through dismiss on timeout attribute what we can do is we can even make our alerts visible for a fraction of seconds so friends whatever alerts we saw it was a part of the UIB alert directive and and we can also override this directive to create our own customized alert so let's create one of this customized alert so what we will do we will just copy this one of the alert and we'll paste it below let's say I give a text as this is a customized alert and initially if I show it on browser then it's a warning sort of thing and suppose you want to override this thing so what we'll do and in order to override this UIB alert directive we have to provide a template URL to it template dash URL and to this we have to provide the URL of this template so let's first we'll create one of the template and we'll pro provide this URL here and see how it works so in order to create a template so what we'll do we'll just in our body we'll create a script and to this script we'll provide a type as text by ng dash template because it's an ng template and to this we'll provide an id let's say we let's say we give it a value as alert.html so this will be an identifier for this template and this alert this id will be a template url for us so i will just copy this and paste it here I save it and so into my script i will be writing a script which can override this uib alert directive so the script i will be using is something very similar to what bootstrap provides by default so i will say a div i will create a div and to this div I will create a class I will provide it a class of alert so this alert is a part of bootstrap CSS and and let's say I want to customize this alert so I provide my own background color and say a font color so for that I will provide it as style and let's say to this I provide a style as background color so let's say color I give it as gray and let's say I provide it a color as white and inside this div so suppose this text I want to put it here so angular provides a support for it so we'll just create a div and into this div we'll just provide something like ng dash transclude so that's it so so whenever I will run this 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 alert will be triggered and it will take the template from this part I, this will take this message here and it will put it here and and whatever the color coloring effect we have given it will apply to it if I save it and go to the browser so you can see so here you can see we have created our own customized alert so this which is in a gray it is a font which is in white color so friends this was all about alerts in UI bootstrap hope you like this video Please like, comment, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also visit my blog. The link is given in the description. Thanks. Have a nice day.